Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gatve and welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, we explored the Azure Databricks workspace. Now, in this video, we will explore the resources that are created while creating the Azure Databricks workspace. Let us move towards the Azure portal and start today's video. So here we are on the Azure portal. Go to Azure Databricks service. This is the workspace that we have created earlier, Databricks-WS. Now we have to explore the resources created while creating this Databricks workspace. To do that, go to Home, then go to Resource Groups. And here we have total three resource group created. First one is Databricks RG. In this resource group, we have the workspace. Let us go to next resource group. Databricks RG hyphen Databricks hyphen WS and a random string. Let us explore these resources. These are the resources created while creating the Azure Databricks workspace. First one is the managed identity. Let us open this in another tab. So this is the managed identity created while creating the Databricks workspace. DB managed identity this is the overview tab here we can get the resource group location subscription and so on and these are the other tabs that you can explore so the managed identity is a feature of azure active directory that simplifies the management of credentials for the applications and services as well as it provides an automatically managed identity for applications running on azure services which allows them to authenticate securely without having to manage sensitive credentials like connection strings or passwords. So this is all about the managed identity. Then we have the storage account. Let us open this as well. So this is the storage account name DB storage and a random string. These are the data storages that we can store here. Containers, file shares, queues and tables and this is the overview of the storage account here you will get all the information this is the third resource created unity catalog access connector let us open this the unity catalog access connector is a concept in azure databricks which simplifies access to data stored in adls generation 2 that is Azure Data Lake Storage Generation 2. This connector allows Azure Databricks to manage access controls in a streamlined way when using Unity Catalog. So this is all about Unity Catalog Access Connector. Then this is the fourth resource, Network Security Group. Network Security Group in Azure is a critical security feature that controls inbound and outbound traffic to network interfaces, virtual machines, and subnets within a virtual network. It acts as a firewall at network level, allowing or denying traffic based on configured security rules. This is the last resource created under this resource group, Virtual Network. Virtual Network in Azure is a fundamental component of Azure networking that allows you to securely connect and manage Azure resources within an isolated network environment. This is very similar to a traditional network on-premises data center. A VPN provides the infrastructure to manage communication between Azure services, on-premises network and the internet. So this is all about the virtual network. So these are the resources created while creating this workspace. There is one more resource created, Network Watcher. This is in separate resource group, Network Watcher RG. Let us explore this one as well. Azure Network Watcher is a networking monitoring and diagnostic tool that provides visibility into your Azure network infrastructure. With the help of that, you can monitor, diagnose, and gain insights into performance and health of your network resources by ensuring that your applications run smoothly. So this is all about the Network Watcher. So these are the six resources created while creating the Azure Databricks workspace. 
these five resources and this is the sixth one network watcher so this is all about this video i'll see you in the next one